What's up you guys? I'm so excited for today. So I am going to do a cozy fort, cozy book nook, and we're gonna do some DIYs because I'm loving the DIYs and I think you guys are too. The DIY video from the day that we went to the dollar store was such a vibe. I thoroughly enjoyed even reliving and watching that video. By the way, I do have shorts on under this. But the long, the long sweater is a vibe. I'm finishing up my greens. I know that they look healthy. In fact, they are. There's wheatgrass juice in here, but it tastes like a tropical cocktail. I've never seen such a thing in my life. So I shared this in my morning routine and there was a lot of you that ordered it and you were like, hey, you weren't kidding. It's actually delicious. I'll pop up one of the conversations I had here. I'm like, it's good, right? And she's like, this is amazing. And you have no bad aftertaste. And then it's even better if you add the collagen. The length of my hair right now, I'm not gonna take it down because it needs to be washed, but the health and length of my hair has never been better. I've never seen a collagen that actually works that well. Oh, and lots of questions if it hurts your tummy, the greens, no, at all. It just helps with digestion thoroughly. Oh, and immunity. And everyone around me is sick right now and this is saving me. So we're doing this. We just finished. I just made a, here, come with me this way. I just made a nice pumpkin spice latte. I love this. It's so cute. I love the mug. And I was just talking on my stories too about my nails. They're still on. They've been on for a week now. Not even like, usually they would like, one would pop off and I'd have to like re-glue one on. This brand is so good. And I'm thinking about switching. Like I'll, I'll have to pop them off. They're super easy to pop off once you want them off. I think you can soak them too if you really want to be like super safe, but we play on the wild side. So I was thinking these, like the traditional Angie Halloween almond, black almond nails. I have a discount code for these, by the way. I love this company and I reached out to them and they hooked me up with a 30% off code. So I'll link that down below, but they're by Glamnetic and you can just use the code off of, you can't use it off of anything that's already discounted, they said, and no new launches. So just now you can't use Harry Potter, maybe fairly soon, but I love it. And then I'll also link the supplements. Okay, now that we're done talking about products and the things, let's like, Let's have a vibey day. It's not raining outside anymore. It's been, it's been raining the past couple of days and really chilly. It is still a little bit chilly, but I did just get in some exciting packages. So let's talk about it. So we are gonna keep talking about products, but these are like Amazon purchases that you need to be a part of. Also, this is from last night. Wait, why is it still? Oh, cause the dishwasher's on. I'm like, why is it hot? There's a family of puppies outside. It's so cute. All right, so my last, you can see it back there, the cauldron. My last DIY video was a success. We made some little potion bottles with some goo dripping down. Where's my skull? The skull is in the living room. The bubbling cauldron with the glitter and the lights inside. I actually ordered more fairy lights so that this cauldron could match it. This is probably my favorite thing that we've ever decorated. I feel like I just nailed it. Okay, let's grab the, the packages. I have my morning routine candle going and it smells like coffee in here. So good. All right, so I ordered this off of Amazon and it was supposed to be the big one and this arrived, which just feels very small. But these things are super practical. If you're doing Lego and you need to house your pieces in something, it makes a lot of sense. And there's Halloween ones. So I got the skeleton in Disney and I wanted the pumpkin, but that little thing showed up and I was like, this is a lesson to us all. Just order off of the website. It doesn't always have to be Amazon. So I did that. And I'm pretty sure that's what this gigantic box is, which feels, I'll be honest, a little bit overkill. <laughs> I don't know entirely. Maybe, maybe this isn't even the Lego. I don't know. Oh, and my Hocus Pocus Lego is going so well. We're gonna work on that today too. I find it so relaxing. Like yesterday, I was a bit, I don't know, if you get like moments of random anxiousness, it happens to me too. And I just sat and I did Legos with my martini and it was like the chillest thing ever. And I watched, um, I watched Hocus Pocus too. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big mama. Big mama and little baby. Look how little it is compared to, but together they'll be very cute. Big mama and little baby. Okay, and then this, this box was definitely did not need to be this big, but I saw this on the website. Am I alone in this? Are you capable or incapable of ordering just one thing from a website? Because I cannot, things will sit in my cart until I find something else that I want from that website. I can't, even if shipping is free, I just don't, I feel like it's so wasteful to just, which makes no logical sense to just order one thing. I'm like, no, I can't do it. I'm gonna put on some, um, can you guys see the TV back there? It's like all Disney photos as my screensaver. I've had that since before we had our house in Golden Oak and it was kind of like my vision board. And there's like Golden Oak pictures and stuff and hotels and 
Yeah, you can see the Snow White fountain. That's like literally in the neighborhood. <gasps> yes. Okay, okay, wait. You're not ready. This is amazing. This is so good. He's a Lego. Oh, you, okay, so this has been one of my favorite mugs and then the other mug, Audrey used it, but it's one of ours with like the detail. Is it in the dishwasher? I'll show you. These have been the heroes of this season. The MVPs. This has been my go-to mug almost every single day. Oh, it matches me. So this is Donuts Dumbbell's Dreams. The inside is red. I just, I love it. It says don't feed the plants. And then he has, I think he has it upstairs. OMG, I'm dead. Mug. He has it and it's, it's the same kind of idea. It's like black inside with a black handle. I love it. And then this one, it's a little ghost, but he, <gasps> you sir, are very fantastical. Oh, I love it. Audrey's gonna like it. Okay, so today, like I said, we're gonna do DIYs and make like a cozy nook. I don't know what we're gonna do though, like how we're gonna do it. There's certain DIYs that I have in my head that I really wanna do. I'll show you the progress on this one so far. Just the glue gun is not working on the rubber snake. It's like not holding it. So I almost feel like I need crazy glue or Gorilla Glue. Yeah, see, that's, that's terrifying, okay? We don't need, yeah, they just keep popping off. Yeah, like this big snake is completely detached now, except for his little tail. This is where I'm at so far. The big snake detached himself. So I need crazy glue, but I'm making this tray to hold my snake martinis. And what I was gonna do was this area right here behind the couch, tie it in, I shared this in the last video, but tie it in with that, with the succulents and the garden stuff that I got from the dollar store. So that needs to happen today. It's a mat, it's like a ticking time bomb before we have another showing. So I need to be, needs to be tight and right and ready. The whole house needs to be constantly in a state of ready. It's exhausting. And then we really, is it bad that I already wanna rewatch this movie? So I'm gonna wear this. It's like exactly the same with the top and everything. Love that. Do I put, should I put like blood on his? Is that too much? Probably not, right? Wait, does he have blood? No. Do you want blood? I don't know. So I wanna work on him today and kind of rewatch this movie because I loved it so much. So I think that's the plan. We have already filmed some videos today. I filmed some daily grind today. Andre's in like back-to-back -back meetings upstairs. We talked to our realtor today. We have some house updates. Like there's a lot, there's a lot of moving pieces this month and it's a miracle that we're both Andre and I are both staying afloat, but we're good. We're happy, we're doing good. And I prepped some epic meals yesterday. So I'm loving doing like the fall casserole, so fun. Okay, let's cozy it up in my office and build like a little reading nook and hang out and do some DIYs and some movies in there. That's the plan. It smells amazing in here. Pumpkin spice latte, so good. It's Carl's costume. Tanning mitt. We're trying new to self tanners. Okay, today we're also, it's gonna be like a cozy self-care day. We're gonna wash our hair, self-tan. This is Carl's costume. It's <sighs> for his ears. Any guesses from this alone? I can give you another guess. Okay, I had to buy a multi-pack, but he's little, so it's all good. This was like 20 bucks. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <laughs> oh, they're really small though. Now, can you guess? It's this one. See if you guys can guess what he's gonna be. We're not done, we need to DIY it. Do you think he's gonna fit in here? Yeah. This is, this is from, no, this is a beauty pro. Why aren't you that excited about the t-shirt? You want a puppuccino? These are, um, how do you call them? Like metal razor blades, like for, that sounds bad. It's like facial razor blades. Oh, we'll use those too maybe for a facial. These are so good, like getting dead skin and stuff. These were highly rated. And you shouldn't just keep reusing the one you have because I feel like that's not sanitary. Ooh, it's pretty. So it's this, and then it comes with five replacement blades. Oh yeah, this is like really good quality. Okay, awesome. And then the blades are in here, cool. All right, let's go try Carl's costume. Carl gets his puppuccino. Okay, sit, sit, sit. Good boy. It's your favorite time of year, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. I put two in here, I might've been ambitious. What a good boy. To what? Oh, the the thing that I prepped yesterday for the Sunday prep. Is there any is there any sweetener in there? Is there any maple syrup? Yep, there's maple syrup. You sound like such a Canadian, Carl. You're such a good boy. Um, yeah. yeah. So Carl, he he put on a little. A little bit of weight. A little bit of weight. Okay, bug. What about your little hat? Does that fit? Can I see? Oh, look at you. That's a good looking hat. Oh, he is not happy with me. He's like, this is hogwash. Dad, well, it kind of looks more like a bonnet than a hat. I need to iron this. Can you look at the camera? 
Yeah, it kind of looks more like a bonnet than a hat. So, so far your costume is a total bust and you also look miserable and I feel terrible. Okay, well, maybe you could just go as Carl the dog. I might just, I don't want to order another one. Like, I feel like that's such a waste. Last year I just cut it. I know, I know, your, your puppuccino's empty. You want to come down and we fill your puppuccino? Yes! It fit! You look great! Are you able to walk with it? Is it comfortable? Come on! Oh yeah, you can walk just fine. So I just, I snipped it open a little bit so that he had more room. Definitely fits you though, you look great! So decided that one of the DIYs I want to make is a book nook. I don't know if you know what a book nook is. You can totally DIY them. They also sell kits of them online. I think there's like really cool ones that people have pre-made for you. But the idea is that, let me show you here so I could put one right here. And I just think it'd be a really cool Halloween thing. So you would have two books on your bookshelf and you have all your, I mean you have all your books, but between two books you create a space and then there's almost like a diorama. Is that what we call it? A little setting in between. It's in it's in my brain. It just needs to come out. So I figured that'd be really fun to build a book nook within my book nook. So I want to get cozy in here. Probably do a hair mask today. Face mask maybe. But everything was on clearance at Michael's, which at Michael's doesn't mean very much. I'm just going to be honest. So this is for my book nook. You need miniatures. This was in the miniature. No, this was in the Halloween area. But and that was on clearance. These were on clearance for my Morticia's garden area, which I thought would be really cool. They're vines, like it's a garland, it'll come all apart. But I got three of these. I thought that was really cute. Oh, I got this tray for the bar cart, because this is really the theme of the bar cart. It's giving like orange, speakeasy vibes, I don't know. Floral wire, another um, black hanging bush is what it's called. Oh my gosh, this is so, this is what I mean, like clearance, but the regular price of this was $25. And on what planet, Michaels? So I probably paid seven something, but still. Oh, these are my miniatures also for the, so this and me, not less this, but this and this is giving Death Eaters. So that's kind of what I'm going for. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna do it. Okay, I had to buy this because this is the same exact stuff that I have in Florida. It makes a heck of a mess, like there's so much glitter on it. But I needed it because it, it almost looks like like a barbed wire style. I don't know. I love it. It's how I would picture Morticia's garden to look. More floral wire. Andre and I were saying, do these really save the environment if we never remember to bring them with us? Like we have so many of them and they're 40 cents each. It just feels like such a waste. This was on clearance too. It's like a moss. What's it called? A moss mat. There was a red one too, but I figured this was better. Okay, book nook, book nook. I got these in the miniatures department for my book nook for like an alleyway or something. And then here's the two books that I'm going to use for my book nook. So they're like fake little boxes. And they open actually. So between these two books, okay, this has an uglier front cover than this. So this front cover will be covered because it needs to be on the inside, right? Like this. Right? Okay, Carl, do you like it? Then this was in the candy section on clearance also. Like little brains, which I thought for the night that we do cocktails and stuff, yes. And this is also for my book nook. They're like little miniature rocks. Their miniatures section was not very good. They used to have such a cool miniatures section. I don't know what else to call it, but it was basically where you would do like models of things. So they also had like, like fairy houses and stuff. Back in the day, it doesn't exist anymore. Well, at least in Canada, it doesn't. So that was our little adventure. And then we went to Wendy's cause homegirl was really hungry. So I'm gonna go put in a hair mask and I'm gonna try and set myself up in here so that it's quiet and cozy cause it, it's feeling quiet-ish outside today, but we don't want it to get loud. I just wanna be in like a, a state of peace. Also, how cute is that? I literally found the picture on Google and then I put it into Photoshop and I filled the background so that it was bigger. And then I put it as a background on my TV. 
pretty proud of myself. And then I also got one off of an Etsy shop where it looks like there's like people trying to like get out of the TV. That one's for Halloween day. I love it. I think we're gonna do a few DIYs today. Put the hair mask in. Probably make a, a pre, like a purple pre-workout to just be like a purple tea. I'm not working out, so it's not a pre-workout, but just a little purple beverage to get a pep in my step. So I'll do that and then we're gonna go put a hair mask in. If I even have one, I must, I must, I must. So we'll do that. I think it's needed, but look at how much I, think I need a trim. Okay, let's go have our cozy day. Let's hop to that cozy day that we talked about, shall we? because you guys told me to. So I bought this the other day, pore clearing clay mask with volcanic clusters. And I used it the other day and it was amazing. The thing that I put in my hair is a bond builder. So if you have like breakage and stuff, it's not just moisturizing, it strengthens the hair, which we all need. There's like, it's actually really warm in here. I think I need a fan. And I also need to wash my face off. I'm winded. If you ever wanna get a good workout and build a fort. So this is very spacious. We have height. Like look, come here to my head. Like we have lots of height. I closed the curtains for more soundproofing. I stuffed all of the cracks with extra squishmallows and things. Now I just need some fairy lights and a good book. And we're gonna make a book nook. This is our book nook, but we're gonna make a book nook too. And we're gonna put on a movie and do some DIYs and choose a new spooky book to read. But first I gotta wash this off cause it's all dried up. It feels really good though. My skin feels tight and right. Okay, hair is freshly washed. I'm doing a little bit of cleaning, groceries. Yes, I'm winded. I'm also cleaning my carpet because I have a dog and this is real life. So the wet spot is not because of Carl, it's me trying to figure out. I'm like, can you smell around? Trying to get him to sniff because I know he went somewhere in here. I saw him walk out of here and he looked very guilty and I'm trying, it doesn't smell, but I know that he went. It look, is that not a guilty puppet? You look a little bit guilty. What are your thoughts? Oh, I just got a secret package in the mail. I can't share what it is, but uh, you're gonna freak out whenever I'm allowed. No, just tell me the truth. I'm not gonna be mad, I promise. Can you show me where it happened? I literally can't see it in this carpet, but this is why we need tile. It's okay, I'm not mad. I feel like this is working better though. Shout pets. All the windows in the house are open. Welcome to my beauty room at the end of the day. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are the two selfless tanners that I got. A company also sent me a PR box that I'll test. I just, I really like my skincare right now, but they sent me a four step skincare routine. Okay. So if this has ever happened to you that you feel like you have too many tabs open in your brain, that was me today literally jumping from task to task. I legit, you can do it on a pad of paper, just I was running around at the same time. I opened my phone and I started talking to Siri and I was like, this is all the things we need to do. Just random things that I needed to remember. All right, so these are the two selfless tanners that I got. I'm on the mission to find a selfless tanner that smells good. If you have a recommendation, I'm all ears. I think it smells good, kind of. Coconut scent, tell me more. Oh, could it be? You need a mitt. True story, I've done this before and it came out green. If it comes out very, not medium green, means it's gonna develop, it can be okay. Full green, you're gonna turn green. So don't, don't lather yourself. Oh my gosh, okay. 
Oh, moment of truth. What do we think? What do we think? It smells like coconuts! <gasps> yes! Yes, yes, yes. I got extra dark. She's gonna be bronzed, honey. You guys always ask, you're like, what self tanner do you use? I'm like, none. I go, I soak up the sun like a little baby Moana. But uh, yeah, this is gonna move things along because my Canadian little body needs it. This is, this is it. So that one's more like a lotion, Hawaiian Tropic. <laughs> I bought this and I don't know if it's gonna work. Apparently this is to do your back. I'm not really a believer, we'll see. How, like seriously though, so what do you do? You put it on the thing and then go like this? Let's try. I am here to debunk the myths for you so you don't have to yourself. Yeah, as if this is gonna go all over the floor. Let's do it over the top, let's do it over the top. One, two, three. <laughs> come on, come on. Are you kidding? There's no way that this is applying in a smooth manner. Hunch, hunch. If I lean back this way, there's like too many curves in the skin. More rolls in a bakery. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's no way. No, I can see it. <laughs> okay. I already see a difference though. I just hope it doesn't come out blotchy. She's bronzed. It doesn't smell like gnarly tanning at all. It's so good. And then this one could be good like post bath as like a gradual tan, but it doesn't smell nearly as good as this one. And this one you get darker way faster. Love it. And success. Okay. This has been good so far, but I really need to go in my fort and be focused. Like here's, honestly, this is why I wanted to build the fort. It's soundproof. I just want to do my stuff and have like sensory deprivation almost. Like I just, I need no noise because I just feel like I keep getting distracted by stuff and I need to do work and I'm excited to cook a nice dinner for Andre. Okay, let's put on a movie and start these DIYs. And I also need to choose that book, by the way. I'm returning this today, so I'll be without my Ura Ring for a while. Do not buy this version of the Ura Ring. I just, I just want to replace it for the normal one, and they're not letting me. They're like, we'll repair it for you. I'm like, no, 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 no. See the, see how the band is like crooked? The other one fell off. There's supposed to be two, like the gold thing. Let's go. Let's go downstairs. I really need some fairy lights. I have my, my little buddy here with me. I made a cocktail in my serpent glass. I have my serpent nails. I have a full plan right now for my DIY book nook. I have some fake serpents, as well as little serpents. I think I'm gonna make like a Death Eater book nook. That's the plan. I think it'll be good. And we're obviously going to watch. We're gonna watch Harry Potter. I'm just deciding on a new book for this month and I just announced it in my book club and I'm just checking with a couple friends if it's a good choice because it seems creepy, but it seems really good. It's highly rated. So I think that's gonna be my next book and we're starting it tonight in the book nook. How are you doing? What do you think of my creepy book? You gonna stay up with me and read it? In our, in our book nook? Yes.
placed an order yesterday for those fairy lights, like I told you, and other things. Amongst other treasures, I have to show you my book nook. It is going so well. I'm pretty much done. I was just waiting on these. I think it's these. Yeah, two silver wire green fairy lights. So one will be for my book nook. This is perfect. I didn't want, I didn't want it to be super long. So yeah, I was looking for that green style. We're gonna put some batteries in that, okay. Okay, not all of these have to do with the book nook, but I wanted an all natural, we're going all natural because of the, because of my skincare, I've been becoming obsessed with this idea of natural. This is probably not the best brand, but it's what I found and I just was craving like a coconut scent. Do we like this? I have the same as the hand soap and I like the smell of that. It smells good. Coconut and honey. This is a hair serum that I used to use all the time when I used to go get my hair done. And I loved the smell. This, if you have pets, I heard this. Yesterday I was trying to clean the carpet and I couldn't figure out if he spotted. And I was like, I bet you if I got a purple, like a black light, I think it's purple light or black light, it'll show it. And I could also use it for Halloween. Oh, it needs batteries. Okay, everything needs batteries. All right. Then, speaking of skincare, I wanted to get those clean towels. They're just, instead of always using a, a rag, just got these, keep those in the master. We're gonna do this today. It's a magic pharmacist book nook kit. I'm so excited, it might be terrible, but I'm excited. Look how cute, the book nook, right? I love it. Okay, let's go into my fort. I added some lights. Let's also bring these. And I really think, I got up at 4.30 this morning. I think a little bit earlier, 4.20. So I think I need some pre-workout. And I always take it the same time every day. Like I took it before my workout this morning, but we're gonna double up. And you told, I get that question a lot, can you double up? Yes, I took my greens this morning. I'm gonna take a little cup of purple pre-workout or, or we can make a pumpkin spice latte in my Lego cuppy. Kind of feeling that, let's do it. So let me show you a little tour of my book nook and also this book nook, which oh, I downloaded my new book last night. It's so good. It took me a while to decide. All right, look at this. Totally soundproof, totally cozy. I'm not gonna lie, I kept it up for an extra day today. I meditated in there this morning. I woke up really, really early. So here is what I did. And this is really cool. If you buy these fake books from, I mean, you can get them from anywhere. I know they sell these books at like places like Home Goods and stuff too, but look, if you do. So I just cut a little notch on the back here so that the wire could actually, battery pack go in here and then the wire can just slide right down so that it actually closes tight. And then it's tight in there. And I was thinking about painting the actual books to have the Deathly Hollows logo on them and or, 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 um, make them like a fake Harry Potter book because I wasn't planning on it being a Harry Potter book nook. It turned out way better than I thought it could ever. Like I, I thought it was gonna suck. It's actually way easier and you can use little miniatures. Like I got these from Michaels last year. They're like miniature hay bales. I just painted them black so it made like a shelf. So in here you can see there's like kind of like a Death Eater hand around a little serpent. It is so difficult to show everything on here because the camera doesn't even pick up all of the detail. Let me see if I can do it. That's as close as I can get. But see how it's on like a, a jar with a snake on there? There is little snakes throughout too. There's so many details. The newspaper clippings, there's the different um, glass vials. Like you can see the one with the skull right down here. Right there, see the one with the skull. And then I've got the Death Eater on the wall back here. You can see him here. And then I just kind of 
glued down the fairy lights with a glue gun and then I covered it with the black moss and then I trimmed the black moss so that it didn't go past here. I did make it kind of grow above this part, which I don't want it to be too crazy. I'm like really, really happy with it. The only thing, if I think you'll agree with me, is this needs, if it would have just been a generic Halloween one, sure, but I just feel like these should be like Deathly Hollow books or something, I don't know. And then, oh, and I used like fake stones on the bottom and then that brick wall down the middle. I'm so proud of this and the little news article cutouts that I used my photo printer for, all from the dollar store or from the clearance section at Michael's. I'm very proud of myself, so it's gonna go either right there or I'm thinking, you know where I did, I'm doing like the snake tray and then the snake martini glasses. I'm thinking about making that a part of it so it's like a whole snake Slytherin theme, kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to open up that other, the DIY book nook, probably in another video because I feel like we've gone on, it was not planned to be like this big of a situation. It was literally supposed to be like, hang out, make a fort, and we did so much. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It was a very fun vlog for me to film because I felt thoroughly creative and I hope you can too. And if you make your own book nook, will you please tag me in it? It's so simple and so fun and just have fun with it, get creative. You do one side and then glue on the other book. It's easier than you think. So fun. Anyways, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye dudes.